Shanti, Shanti. Thank you very much for coming. Namaste. Let's start with awareness of the breath. Coming into your sitting position. And close your eyes. So this is your first thing you are doing in the morning, which is so great that uh, you take care of yourself. First thing in the morning, this is the best thing you can do to yourself and the best gift you can give to yourself. Just be aware of your breathing. Then now bring your attention and awareness to this space between the nostrils and your upper lip. We call this sacred space. So bring your awareness to that space now. Sacred space, meditation for a few minutes. Just observe. On awareness on your sacred space. If your mind has wandered, bring it back to the sacred space. And then we're gonna do some deep breathings. So we're gonna inhale into the belly, push it up to the chest three times. And then again, when you exhale, belly goes in and then exhale fully. So let's start. Inhale and exhale fully. Two more. Inhale all the way and exhale fully. One more. And exhale. And now we're gonna add a little hold. After inhalation, you will hold a little bit. Breathe normally. And then inhale and hold. Hold it in and then exhale. Very slowly, slower than before. Inhale and hold. All the way. And then exhale. One more like this. <clears throat> Exhale fully. And then just breathe. And now we're gonna exhale and hold the breath out, okay? So exhale fully, inhale, 
and exhale all the way and hold the breath. Hold, no breathing. Inhale again. And exhale fully and hold. Hold. And one more inhale. Exhale fully. And hold. And then release, release. Move a little bit. Shake out your arms, your tired energies, shake them out. And then inhale, lift your arms all the way, palms together, look up, stay here, stretch out and right side down. Stretch the left side, open up. We are opening everything out. And then we come back again, inhale. Exhale down to the left. Again, opening out, look up to the ceiling. Very good, come back and the twist. Right hand on left knee, left hand behind. And the opposite. And coming back, forward bend. And up, change the setting of your legs and forward bend again. Very good, and slowly back. Release with windscreen wipers. Knees to the side. And then come on to all fours. From here, we're just going to move backwards and forwards when you are ready and settled. So just very, lightly, never uh, feeling forced, just lightly moving forwards and backwards, not really wanting to do much movements here, more big movements. And then we are going in circles. Nice one, any way you want to give a circle to your hips, to your back, anyway, circling, rounding, go the opposite way, circle. Awakening the spine and the hips, the hands, the wrists. And now we just circle around the wrists. So like going this way. Just small circles above the wrist. And then the opposite way, only wrists. We are interested in the wrists now. And then sit back and shake out. So there are some nice sweat glands under your arms, the armpits, you know that you can activate them by also pressing your wrist in it. Breathe. Yeah. 
and then shake out. Move in and out. Shake. Come on to your toes and we just do a little toe sitting, stretching the feet, sit <clears throat> up and breathe now. You know the candle blowing breathing, inhale and blow the candle with your mouth. Slow candle blowing. Inhale. Inhale. And then release, come back, tap your toes. Okay, coming up onto your knees now, shake out. And if you want, you do that with your feet tucked under. If not, uh, you can just stay here with your feet so smoothly down. And then with inhale, push your hips forward, open the chest, little back bend. And with exhale, the opposite way, hands sliding down. And then inhale back again. Exhale, hands sliding down. And inhale back. Exhale down. Three more. So when you come down, chin to chest, when you go back, squeeze your bums, push your hips forward, open the chest. Let's do one more. And then slowly back. We are back into just kneeling. From here, make sure your mat is in front of you. And then inhale, raise your arms. Little back bend, exhale, child's pose down. Stay here, get comfortable, move side to side, little release here. Come up to all fours and look forward, open the chest, <clears throat> tailbone up. Very good. And now into downward facing dog, when you are ready, up, pedal out. Push your hips up, hands away, heels down. Very good. Just breathe. <clears throat> now we are going to drop the hips forward and down into upward facing dog. Coming down, open the chest. And then downward facing dog back. Push your hips. Very good. Knees down. All fours. And child's pose. A little rest here. So we'll do this a little bit quicker. Okay, come on to your knees. Inhale, lift your arms, stretch back. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale into all fours. Exhale, down dog. Inhale into upward dog. Exhale into down dog. Inhale onto all fours. And exhale into child's. Stay here. Come up onto all fours. I mean onto your knees. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, down. Inhale, all fours. 
exhale down dog upward dog down dog all fours and child's pose last one bring your arms back relax here again move side to side breathe enjoy Okay, back again onto your knees and start again. Inhale, stretch up and back. Exhale, all, uh, sorry, child's pose. All fours, down dog, exhale. From here, lift your right leg up, stretch it. Stretch through the heel, breathe. Right to front, left knee down, and lift up your chest and arms, open up, breathe. Hands back down, and we are going to move to half split, back with the hips, inhale forwards. Exhale, half split, back with the hips, inhale forwards. And do three more. It's nice and slow. No one is rushing you to finish early. No one is first or last. When you have done it, just I'll meet you in down dog. Breathe and stretch out. Breathe. Left leg stretches up this time. Stretch through the heel. Left to front, right knee down and a lift. Inhale and down. Exhale, moving the hips back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, three more. Last one. Very good, back into down dog. Stretch out, upward dog. Drop your knees and stay here. Look over your right shoulder and left shoulder. And right and left. And back into child's pose. Bring your arms back, little rest. Very good. Now from here again, we come up to the, onto the knees, kneeling up and inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, child's pose down. All fours, down dog. Right leg front. This time don't put the knee down, but come up to high lunge when you are ready. Up all the way and hold. High lunge, breathe, opening. Three, two, a little bit lower. And then back into downward facing dog. First hands down, push your hips and pedal out. And then we're gonna go to the other side, left leg up, left to front. And from here, when you are ready, up with the arms, high lunge, breathe. Four, three, two, one. This time we're gonna put the hands down, but step forward with the right foot, forward folds. Take your elbows, move side to side, relax your mind, the whole body. Very good. Now put your heels together and the feet are open like this. 
hands down in the front, exhale, forward bend, inhale, squat down with the heels touching. Exhale, forward, inhale, squat. Exhale, inhale. Three more on your own. Keep your heels touched. One more. Stay down. And as we are down, try to make yourself smaller, even smaller. Coming forward down, forward, forward, forward. If your feet are not happy, don't worry, just sit down and do the butterfly. And from here into yogic squats. So opening your feet out wider and come down to squat. Very good. Right hand stays down, left arm up. So the right shoulder is also a little bit like stuck in and the left arm stretches up. That's very good. Left arm down, left shoulder stuck, right up. Great, from here, coming up to forward forwards. But a little bit wider forward forwards, wider legged. Legs are wider apart, coming down, and maybe widen it out, come forward. Great, coming up to goddess now. So as we are uh, coming up to standing, bend your knees, arms to the side, goddess. Three more. Two, opening out, one. Now your arms should be ideally straight as you put your hands on your knees. So if you put, push your hips back, you will have your arms straight or anyway, you will have your back straight. That's what we want, back straight. So from here also, you can see my arms are straight. Okay, so we go into a twist with the right shoulder and arm in the middle, look up, on the other side, stay there. And then the other side and stay there. And then back again, forward. And from here into a cat pose. So pulling your navel in and up, chin to chest. Inhale back into cow, the opposite. Nice, opening front, exhale, pull up, the navel. And then exhale, other way, like cat and cow. Moving in and out, inhale, up with your chin, exhale, chin down. One more and then we will come back. Bend, uh, straighten your knees and come up to standing. Shake out. Shake out your arms. And we'll go into star position now. Just hold your star. Wait. And we'll go into triangle. So turn your right foot out, not the hips. Hips are not turned. The left foot might be turned in. Reach out on the right side and down, triangle. Look up to the left hand, to the ceiling. Right hand is stretching down. <clears throat> Breathe. Breathe. 
left arm now overhead, covering your ear in the triangle, breathe. From here, we're gonna go into the side angle, right arm on the knee. And left arm overhead and circle this left arm five times to one. Releasing the shoulders the other way. Very good, stay. Look up to the ceiling, breathe. From here, we're gonna go into reverse warrior. Inhale, keep your right leg bent and back bend. Right arm overhead this time, breathe. Look up, left leg very active. From here into your warrior, two. So open the chest, open the hips. Look over your right hand. Breathe, just breathe here. Very good, come back, star and release. Yes, shake out and come into Tadasana to little rest and relax. Bring your balance back. And then step out to start position. Left foot turns out. Coming into triangle, left side triangle, left arm down, right arm up, hold. <clears throat> right arm overhead, hold. So nicely opening that right side, breathe. From here, side angle, bend the knee, make it a nice long one, side angle, and move your arm in circle, right arm circles. Five times and then five the opposite way. And hold. Breathe. One more. Slowly keeping that left leg bent. Reverse warrior. Bend back. Yes. And then coming into warrior now. Just the normal warrior two. Slowly back, start and release. Shake out. Moving the hips side <clears throat> to side. Moving backwards and forwards. Moving in circles. Other way. And then release back into Tadasana mountain pose, just standing in silence, silencing the mind. And open your eyes, inhale, arms up overhead, exhale down to one side, <laughs> whichever side, inhale center, 
Exhale, other side. Stretching out, inhale, center. Exhale, first side. Go a little bit deeper. And again, back and other side. Go deeper. Deeper, deeper. And release, come back. Ground yourself. Because we're going to do the three poles. Okay, so grounding through the feet, bringing the left knee up, out to the side, and bring it to the height that you can do. Hands to the heart center. Try to find a fixed point with your eyes and just focus on them. Inhale, lift your arms, overhead, and then arms away. And down slowly and release. And then we do the other side. So when you are ready, bring that foot up against the left or the yeah, left thigh. And hold, focus. Arms up when you are ready, if you are ready. Away in Jnana Mudra. And down slowly, release. Very good. Open your legs wide apart. I'm going to go into forward bend with the arms at the back, interlace your fingers, push your hands down, open the chest, exhale, forward bend down. Three more. and release your arms down, come up to um, flat back. Great. Very good. From here, uh, adjust your positions into downward facing dog. Push your hips up. From here, we're gonna go into pigeon. So we will just move the right knee front and the right leg down in front, left leg to the back. Lift up your chest, breathe. Enjoy the stretch now at different parts of your hips. Pigeon pose. Very good for different meridians opening or cleaning, balancing the meridians in the body, open the chest. And then come down into sleeping pigeon. And just calm your nervous system down here, breathe, activating the parasympathetic nervous system. Have five more breaths. Mm -hmm. 
And from here, we're gonna go back into downward facing dog. Slowly, slowly move your right leg up all fours and push up to stretch. Pedal and hold. Make your way into left pigeon. So left leg forward. And right leg stretches back. First we sit up. And then the sleeping one, slowly lowering yourself down. Keep breathing slowly, gently. Five more. Last one, and then make your way back up into down dog. Pedal out. And then into child's pose, down and back. So from here, we're gonna try to do striking cobra a few times. So stretching out your hands, arms, you will try to keep your nose lower and down all the way as you push forward and up, and then you push back. Okay, so let's just do as many as you can, four or five, as many as you want and can. So trying to make sure the hands, the elbows, and the knees are on the same spot as you push forward. So we are not moving them anyway. And back also the same way. Very good. Let's do two more. Mm -hmm. And when you have done it, then just come and sit back and sit up. Shake out your hands, circle around the wrist, the wrist circles, and again, shake out. From here, we're gonna go into boat pose. We love our boat pose. So from here, lift your legs, a little bit lean back on your hands and then stretch your legs. That's one way of doing it. Or if you are able to, arms can stretch forward and breathe. But hands can also stay back behind you. Stay here and breathe, hold it. Three, 
three, two, one, and lie down slowly, lift your arms overhead, stretch out and breathe. Okay, so now we're gonna stretch the arms up and the knees at a 90 degree angle up. And then putting one arm down and the other leg down. So one right arm forward, left leg down and left arm also down. So this way you're gonna make this almost like scissor movements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And release, hug your knees. Rock from side to side, feeling nice, burning in the core. Yes. Very good. And now the same uh, position, but this time legs are straight, arms straight. And then we try to do with the legs straight. Down, left leg and left arm front, right arm overhead. So this is one way and then the other. One, two, one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and everything down, release, shake out. And we'll finish with the bicycle. I mean, not finish the class, but the core practice bicycle, bicycling forward, yes. Bicycling backwards, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, forwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hug your knees. Nice one. Bring your knees down to your right side, into the twist, open the chest the ceiling, arms both ways, stretching. Rest and stretch. Three more. Last one. And then slowly back <clears throat> and knees down to the left. Three more. Last one. Bring your legs back, hug your knees. Just rest here. Resting. And then swing yourself up to sitting. From here into forward bend, seated forward bend, lifting your chest, shoulders back, flex your feet, 
inhale, lift up your arms, look forward, keep breathing, keep pushing your sit bones, lift up and reach forward. Five more here. Inhale back up, stretch. Exhale to the heart center. Very good, release. Check out, release. Okay, so now we're gonna take one block and lie down into supported bridge. If you don't have a block, take a cushion under your hips like this and just rest here for a moment. Then when we are ready, we will stretch out. So we start with one leg stretch and then the other open and then the arms overhead, if that feels comfortable, onto pose. Resting here. And then we'll start by bringing the arms back, pulling the feet up. Stay here. And then we will lift the hips up again. Sorry, not the hips. We will lift the legs up into a waterfall. So we are staying in waterfall now for a few minutes. Enjoying being upside down, legs up. If you had enough, you can always just put your legs down. Stay here for five more breaths.
last one. And feet back down, stay in the supported bridge. Few breaths, feeling the uh, blood returning to your feet. And then remove the block and stay there with your knees together, feet away. On your knees slowly, rock from side to side. And then coming into our well-deserved Shavasana. First stretch out the whole body. And then release. Stretch again, activate everything, all muscles. Release. And then arms back to the side. Shavasana. Corpse pose, it's called. Corpse pose, where you are not meant to move your body. So the body is now resting after all the movements it's done. All the different and difficult movements, the movements you normally wouldn't do in your daily activities. You would not move like this, but it is really important for the body to move in different um, directions, different positions to open and to strengthen. That's why we are doing all these weird poses. Resting the feet, feeling very, very heavy in the legs, dense, heavy legs. Resting the torso, the spine, lower back, upper back, the spine chest, the abdomen, the belly, the hips. Resting the arms. Heavy arms. Heavy head. The whole body. 
is resting heavily. And now start to move the fingers, the toes, the head. Stretch your arms. Hug your knees. Come down to one side from there, sit up. Very good, hands to the heart center. Inhale. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you and Namaste. Thank you very much for coming.